tell me a little bit before, by the way. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. You'll have to forgive me. So I'm a little starstruck. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the uh, Diabetes Foundation? And I guess it's your foundation that is helping out the cure for diabetes. Is that correct? Well, yes. We, when my wife died prematurely of diabetes 20 years ago, I started the foundation, which is in its 21st year now. And it's a tough disease, and a lot of people have type 1, which means insulin dependent. Two million in the U.S., but worldwide, it's 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 a big epidemic, really. And uh, so, uh, we decided to uh, keep our focus on pure research. You know, it's all we do. We deal with I said we deal with white people, guys and gals in white coats with white rats or white mice, full time, pure research. The government doesn't do much of that. The pharmaceutical companies don't do much of that. So we're small compared to them. We've probably spent maybe sounds like a lot, but with the uh, NIH, National Institute of Health, spends a billion dollars a year on diabetes. We spend a couple million a year. We've given maybe 20, 22 million away to pure research. So we think we're getting close to a cure because a researcher came up with an amazing discovery and cured, cured, cured diabetes in mice last year. And a lot of, a lot of the press poo-pooed it, but then Science Magazine said, no, this looks pretty real. And what was amazing was she not only cured the diabetes in the mice, but the mice started to develop their own little islet cells on their own regeneration of the cell, really? adult stem cells. So we're hopeful, but you don't want to build up hopes. You know, it's such a tough disease. It's not around the corner. I've said that every year for 20 years now. But I would hope uh, in the next five years we'd make some real progress. And at the most 10 years. Uh, but. Uh, Mass General Hospital is the oldest hospital in the world, and that's where the research team is. And now we do the clinical trials, which whatever we did for mice, we know works, but does it translate to humans? That's the tough part. So we were programmed for $11 million. I committed beyond the foundation to this project about 7 or $8 million. And I think we're getting pretty close. But clinical trials are run, the government, FDA gave us permission, but wow. it's very strict. You've got to follow protocol obviously for good reason uh, but it's promising doesn't mean that's going to be automatic so I'm I'm torn between giving people with this the hope for a cure but be realistic it, it's not going to happen tomorrow morning any more than polio did when they came up with a vaccine so it's uh, nice to be part of it I've tried worked at it because it was tough in the family my wife was very sick with it for a long time and died when she was uh, 56 years old but if you keep in control diabetes really watch what you eat do your exercise that's good for everybody by the way played you and me yeah. including you and me yeah. uh, you can pretty well control it now technology's gotten to where these pumps automatically put in enough insulin you can test yourself easily four or five times a day with a little drop of blood okay. that's very simple so yeah, we're hopeful you know and uh, here uh, in Palmdale uh, the Hansons just uh, met me in, Los, in, in Palm Springs and then went to Boston to see oh, okay. and they said it did so much for her their daughter who's had diabetes for 23 years uh, mentally it did so much she just changed her whole lifestyle because there's hope here just talked to Tiffany today she's a real guest honor here Wow yeah well congratulations I was talking to the doctor earlier and there are so many people that we know friends everybody's affected by diabetes so uh, how can they uh, get in how can the normal person listening or viewing get involved send me 10 bucks no we, <laughs> we started to raise 11 million dollars I was gonna use my rich friends I said I can't find enough of them 10 of them at a million then I came up with the idea why not go on the internet and ask half of the two million diabetics to send me a saw buck, 10 bucks each. That's the same 10, mil 10 million to get these trials underway. And we've had a two weeks big response. You know, people want to help. That's what we need. Anything else I didn't ask you that I should have? No. One, one last question. I, the owner of Willow Springs Racetrack, been here 40 years, I asked him, what's the biggest uh, advancement you've seen in autos? And I'm a mechanic. And he said tires. Now, in your book, you had also said tires. Do you still hold to that? There's no flats anymore. Michelin led that, and then Goodyear later. But steel tires, getting rid of pneumatic tubes was a big, huge breakthrough. It's safe for tires, even though we had some problems. With Ford, I won't mention, they had trouble with their unit being too high, and, and the tires, whether they were defective because of production, which they were, but not because of design. That was a huge breakthrough, though. And I got to let you know, my 80-year-old grandfather bought a 1964 Mustang. Mm -hmm. Great. <laughs> it's got good taste. It wasn't just for college. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. Thank it's you. Good God to hear. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much for your time. It's an honor.
ഉറപ്പായിട്ടും ചെക്ക് ചെയ്യും